Can hear you. Project this what, is what, the Abbasid dynasty. Why is Mali Rukman there? Because I put it there. Because what? I. She contributed she to forcing a, me she into this presentation. <laughs> and Oman, you are also. Uh, me too. Yes. yes. Okay. Why so Mali let's provide AK? some detailed context of the Abbasid dynasty. So, of the Abbasid dynasty. It can also be nicknamed the Abbasid Caliphate because after the Prophet Muhammad there are three caliphs, the companions of the Prophet, then the Umayyad dynasty, and then the Abbasid Caliphate, as it says here, the third caliphate to succeed the Prophet Muhammad. It was an Islamic empire of the second and the second of the two great dynasties that were made in that Muslim empire. So it was after the Umayyad dynasty that came the Abbasid dynasty. Those two are dynasties, the com companions of the Prophet and the Prophet himself, not the their caliphates. And it started off by seizing power from the Umayyad dynasty at 750 CE and then get, did, losing its power until it got an, a Mongol invasion and a loss of Baghdad, their capital, at 1258 CE. This and, is the Abbasid dynasty. Yeah. Yeah. So this sign right here is a depiction of their main symbol for the empire and the symbol of Allah Akbar, which is a really important thing as well. So the map of the empire, the geography of the empire. So the Abbasid dynasty, they didn't focus on conquering lands like the Umayyad dynasty was. So rather continuing on to Europe and going down into the northern Africa, they focused east and they lost Spain and Morocco right here, the red and this uh, peaches yellow thing here on, on the northern Africa, all the way to the west. So once they have done so, they've They've conquered the least amount of land, and they're out of their predecessors, which is kind of a disappointment, but still, they focused on something that, that helped the Islamic Empire in total. As you can see, it's located in the Middle East, right here, and Northern Africa, well, up to this purple region here. And here is just a much better depiction of it, right here, where it shows its ending point at this corner. Can you project your voice, please? Is it expanded okay, to I Europe, will... but I say Asia? Yeah. Because you said only Middle East, so... This is, this is, this is whole considered Middle East right here. This whole region. No. Including Middle Syria East, and no. Iraq and Iran. It includes the Middle East, yeah. It includes not, not just the, the Arabian. One, That's the Arabian like, Peninsula. Yeah. The this yellow right one, I just said, how did you Russia or India huh? or... Yeah, I'll reverse it for you to come okay, see okay. my audience. Okay. That's okay. Uh, uh, okay. No, 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 no. I need to, I need to help you. No, no, the uh, yellow one. How did you clean up an this orange? One? Orange, the orange, country. that's uh, the Iraq and Iran. That's part oh. of Iran, and the rest of it is Syria and Iran. No, the orange one is Afghanistan. And Afghanistan, it's on the edge as well. Yeah. It's the intersection the between those four they countries. Are not very so let's go to the next slide, right here. So, how it rose, how did it do this? So, what gave it power? It was actually claiming the name of the Abbasid Empire, really tells you how. They, all, they got their name reference and claimed that they were the, dis, the descendants of the Prophet Muhammad's uncle Abbas. And that's where it gives them the name of Abbasids. And they wanted to get political power. So they used skillful propaganda between two major parties in the Omeyyad dynasty. <laughs> between, in this area located, this, this political party was the Persian converts of Islam who were from the Iraqi area or called the Khorasan Persians. Khorasan means Iraqi. And the Shi'ats who were so angry at the death of Ali and Hussein, located here. These two conflicting parties had two different, completely different ideologies, thus making them having serene discontent with the Caliphate of Umayyad. And they used that skillful propaganda to capitalize these two Umayyad Umayyad groups into creating an open revolt, thus causing a big battle, which is located at the Great Zab River, which ended the last emperor for the Umayyad Caliphate. This here is also another symbol, but it's also its economic, economic coin here. And this is the map of the start of the Umayyad, of the Abbasid dynasty, where its extent reaches here at the beginning, but it just goes a little bit up to here later, because they rather focus east. All right. So, Accomplishments. This is my partner's slide, so I work much harder. 
So the Ahavasid dynasty, they focused on creating a capital called the capital of Baghdad, which is located in Iraq, and they they founded education on a whole new level using different uh, foreign texts to translate into the Arabian languages that included astronomy, science, math, especially with the Greek and other like Roman as well, those those type of languages, and they so they created a huge library in a big building uh, due to one of the uh, Abbasid uh, uh, caliphs asking for one. And they call it the House of Wis Wisdom, and it's located in Baghdad. It's a very famous building in my heart for the Islamic Empire. So I bring back the map once more for the final time I, because I would like to talk about where its accomplishments is in a geographic way. So I said before they moved their capital to Baghdad right there. It's a pretty small sea, but it's located approximately here. And that's where the main part of the uh, Abyssinian Empire was. And it helped it spread Islam, even though it didn't conquer that much land. So then they looked more east thus losing their land here and here, which is one change they have accomplished that included the Persians in Iraq and continues to point east until the empire ends. And since because they pointed east, they focused more on the Persians after the day arose, the Persians gained much more power and, and their voices were heard much more in the Islamic empire, thus giving them more political power and their opinions were stated. As you, see, as you can see in this map, here's where the middle of the Abbasid Empire was. So, for my final slide, the ending of the empire. So here, it took at least two to three centuries for the Abbasid Empire to start declining and falling. So, the Abbasid Caliphate lasted for five centuries. Two to three of those was their decline. It was after the reign of Harun al Rashid, who was the Harun al Rashid. Harun al Rashid. You are all the first. Um, and, it, and he was the caliph for during the 10th century, approximately the late 10th century. And once he left, the, the, the successor was, had horrible leadership, thus causing the governors and specific local principalities, uh, politic, politics men. Uh, to become more independent and rather than dining to the Abbasid Caliphate and they used the, the slaves and Seljuk Turks to gain more power thus the Seljuk Turks soon gathered up and took up some of the power from and the Abbasid the dynasty yeah. yeah and so once they had these slaves and Seljuk Turks the Seljuk Turks rather wanted to resist and take some more of that power thus saw further diminution and uh, diminution yeah and at the after the 11th century where the Southern Turks were roaming around the Abbasid Empire taking such power and the and the Empire and the principalities or local principalities were becoming way more independent the Mongolian invasion occurred at the year of 1258 where Abbasid was at its lowest peak has ever reached it was so weak that once the Mongolians just came in and became a Muslim empire after this, which I'll explain later, they sieged the, the uh, Baghdad, the capital, very simply. They were doing, they were just went in there and the Abbasid Caliphate couldn't do that much defensive techniques to them, thus causing them to lose their empire. Here's another image where the battle tower here of the Mongolians as they keep shooting to the wall of the Abbasid, thus going all around, as you can see here. Yeah. So, yeah, kind of. Tarawada, it's like a battle. No, but then the man, who is the Tarawada, they have a good head, a good head, and a good head, and a good head. Like the Trojan horse? Yeah. But that was in, wasn't that Greek mythology? Well, it could have, I think this, this picture here kind of depicted that. This is the bridge that leads to the Abyssinian wall of Baghdad that 
had that much defense that the Abbas of Khalifa was then very the weak did that. at the point. The yeah. Did the same, yeah. yeah, the Mongolians came in, took over the Abbas, but due to that they had an accomplish they, they gained another accomplishment where the Mongolians became Muslims as well, especially one of their leaders, thus causing most of the Mongolians to be Muslim. And here is my bibliography where I got all my sources. Yeah, the mom, you're next. So there's another presentation we can do. I'm not sure.